Hi, Jill Jackson in the studio today to paint some rainbow angel wings. My video number 428. My recipe for paint is one third acrylics and two thirds Floetrol. I'm experimenting with how I load my paint for angel wings and today I'm loading my paint over a spoon in a circular motion. I'll layer these colors one by one. I need a total of about 16 ounces to pour angel wings on a 16 by 20 canvas. I'm using Artist Loft paints with the exception of Deco Art in pearl and in gold. I mix up my Deco Art paints a little differently. I use 50% Floetrol to 50% of the Deco Art metallics. I'll top this paint off with some white until I've got just about 16 ounces. Having a level canvas is crucial for angel wings, so double check that your canvas is perfectly level. I'm propping my canvas up with a stack of cups. So I'll pick a spot in the top and slowly pour out nearly all of my paint, waiting for it to gather and start to turn into the shape of wings. This takes some time. I'm working at 500% speed here. I found that in order to get some width at the shoulder of the wings, it's best to go ahead and let your paint pull up at the top and then tilt the wings down. Hold on, I'll show you. I'm always trying to figure out how to end these tree ring pours properly without that little swiggle in the middle. Now this one has the swiggle, not too badly, but in an upcoming video, I think I finally figured it out. What I did up there at the top is gone ahead and broke the surface tension at the top of the wings. Again, this will allow for the width at the shoulder of the wings to be broader. A tilt up and then a slow tilt down. Again, I'm working at 500% speed, so this is going a lot more slowly than it appears. The wings are going down though, and they seem to be holding this gorgeous shape. Woohoo, yep, I've got wings again. Love these colors. Almost looks like it's on fire at the bottom. I'm adding some white paint and some pearl paint into the paint cup that I used to pour my wings from and I'm going to fill in the background with this. I like to pour a little bit away from the edge of the paint and let the edges of the paint meet together on their own. I'll need to add a bit more white and pearl so that I can finish my background. I will get this poured on. and give it a little tilt all together. Now I'll flip this canvas and give it a little torch. And it is dry time. Oh my goodness, look at those beautiful rainbow colors. I allowed the canvas to dry thoroughly and sealed it with clear spray gloss. I just love these rainbow wings and I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips and ideas and visit sisterearth.net for videos, events, and to check out the fine art and children's books available for purchase. As always, happy creating, my friends!